piece. Okay, could have been worse. Come on, we're not safe out here. How are you holding up? Anxious? Tired? I mean, I haven't slept all night. I'm just really glad you're okay. I'm okay. But they know about my mom. Oh my gosh. Did they hurt her no, or? She's fine. Okay. For now. I called her on the way over here. My uncle's taking us somewhere safe. That's all I can say about it right now. Okay, good. So, what happened? How many were there? Uh, there were two, and now there's one. Um, they got him good. He's hurting. I just, I can't believe they found me so fast. I mean, I was so careful with everything. At least I thought I was. Even when I thought that they were tailing me the other day, I thought I was so careful. I keep trying to tell you, Daniel, this isn't a game. These people are trained killers, anarchists. They can't be reasoned with. They don't care about drugs or money or any of that bullshit. It's all about instilling their message. And what's that? Fear. That's what they do. That's what they feed on. Literally all they want is to see society burn. That's it. There's no turning back now, Daniel. We have to do something, and soon. I know. I'm just still trying to process Senator Freeman's involvement. I mean, we voted for this guy, and he's involved with these assholes? Yes. I mean, other guys on this list, elected officials, wealthy community leaders, people we thought we trusted. I mean, what the hell is going on? I don't know. I don't have an answer for that. All I know is that when my ex-boyfriend got involved with these people a few weeks back, he got brainwashed. I didn't even know who he was after a while. Then he disappeared a few weeks ago, but he made the mistake of leaving a flash drive in my apartment. Let me guess. The files you sent me. You've had them this entire time. Yes, for a couple weeks now. Right after I found them is when I called you. When I thought I was onto something. Then how the hell did they know that I had the files? They hack into shit! I mean, they probably found out who I was by looking through my ex's personal life. And they were probably able to track you and, and find out who you were by hacking into my emails and my profile and my phone. I don't know, just text everything. I just... It's okay. They knew about my military background. Julia, you and I go way back. Like Fort Leonard back. If they know about my military background, then they know about your military background. They've been after me ever since I started emailing you about all of this. I haven't been back to my apartment since last week. I've been on the move every single day. Daniel, you're the only person that I can trust right now. And if anything happens to me, I just want to make sure that everything is okay and that I don't want anything to happen to us. Nothing's going to happen to us, okay? okay? We're in this together. I mean... We have to get these files into the right hands, Daniel. Everything depends on it. We will. I don't want to die. We, you won't, okay? I got you. Okay. All right. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Pearson, yes, we are doing the Lord's work. And with your continued support, we will be absolutely unstoppable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Thank you again. Thank you again, Mrs. Pearson, for your generous donation. And just know that the Lord is smiling upon you. Good night. What the fuck is your problem? You're late. Am I? You'll have to excuse me. I was busy removing a fucking bullet from my side. Where's number six? I'm sorry, what? Your fucking partner. I hate to tell you this, but I don't think Six will be joining us anymore. And the files? Yeah, the files. Those files. Uh, we missed our mark. You so what? That's very unfortunate. Number one, I personally gave you this task because I thought that you could handle it. And now you're sitting here telling me that you missed the mark? In all fairness, sir, Six was always a bit of a liability. He didn't hold up his part. Yeah, no shit. You're putting us all at risk. You mind letting the grown-ups talk here, Junior? 
Don't forget who brought you into this. Number three. Enough! Let's get back to the task at hand. Number one, I still don't think you fully comprehend the situation we're in right now. This little setback of yours could ruin everything we've been working on. I can make it up to the prophecy, sir. I can get those files. I'm sure Daniel's on his way to his mother's house right now. Let me take a few collectors and we can go wait for him there. He, he might even have the girl with him this time. We can get them both, huh? That's already been arranged. It's been arranged. In the event that you'd fuck all this up, as insurance, I sent some company over to her place to monitor activity. Looks like somebody just recently showed up, most likely to get her out of the house. There's a man bringing her out of the house now, sir. Kill him. Bring me the mother. Alive. Done. Daniel to us. What about the girl? <clears throat> we'll get the girl. What I'm more concerned with is what should I do with you? Both of the marks are still out there. The files are still out there. What should I do with you? Give me another chance. Sir, I assure you I'll be more than ready on the next go. Hey, tell you what I'll do. Let me take care of number eight for you, hmm? He's the reason we're in this position after all. He's the one who left those files out for that fucking girl to find, hmm? Yeah, well, don't worry about number eight. He's, uh, he's taking a little ride right now. I promise I won't fail you again, sir. Give me another task. Anything. We still haven't located the first mark. The girl. Julia. Let me find her. Just give me a little bit of time and a new partner and we'll get her, I swear. She has been the difficult one to lock down. But do you really think you could go out there and find her? condition you're in? Just give me the chance, sir. <laughs> okay, it's yours. But, before you go, number one, are you familiar with the book of Revelations? You know, with all the commotion, it's, I'm drawing a pull. Is it? From 9-6. And in those days, men shall seek death, and death will escape them. They will not find it. They will desire to die. But death shall flee from them. Fuck this up again. Miss the mark again. And you'll pray for the ride that number eight took. You will seek death. And you will not find it. Now go. I understand, sir. By this time tomorrow night, sir, hmm. do you really trust him with this task? He can barely move. I mean, do you really think he can find someone in 24 hours that we haven't found in a week? He doesn't have a choice. His life depends on it. We get the girl, Daniel comes to us. We get back to the order of things.
Hello, Julia.